ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧਾਈਆਂ ਬੰਦੀ ਛੋੜ ਦੀਆਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੇ ਪੰਥ ਨੂੰ ਹਨਾ ਕਿੱਡਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਦਿਨ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੇ ਕਿੱਡੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਦੀ ਹੋਰ ਮਦਦ ਕੀਤੀ ਹਨਾ ਪੰਥ ਐਬਸੋਲੂਟਲੀ ਹੈਪੀ ਬੰਦੀ ਸ਼ੋਅ ਟੂ 올 ਆਫ ਯੂਅਰਸ ਆ ਹੋਪ ਯੂ ਵੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਦ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਟੂ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਟ ਥਿਸ ਗੁਰਪੁਰਬ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ 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 ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਗੁਰਪੁਰਬ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਵਿਦ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੈ ਸ਼ੋਨ ਅਸ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਗੋ ਆਊਟ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਮੋਰ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਲਪ ਵਿਦ ਦੀ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਲੈਟਸ ਬੀ ਐਕਟਿਵ ਨਾਟ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਕੈਨ ਡੂ ਲੈਟਸ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਆ ਗਿਵ ਸਮ ਲਾਈਟ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਸੈਲਫਸ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਥਰੂ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦਾਸ ਦਾ ਹੋਪ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਅਗੇਨਸਟ ਦ ਗੁਰਦਾਸ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਰਾਈਟ ਥਰੂ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਟੂ ਇਨ ਲਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਸੈਲਫਸ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਨੋਲੇਜੇਬਲ ਨੋਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਓਨ ਦ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਸਾਈਡ ਬਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਵਾਸ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਟੂ ਨੋਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਸਿਕਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਹੂ ਆ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਨਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਲੋਕਡ ਅਪ ਫੋਰ ਨੋ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਸੋ ਕ੍ਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਸਟਫ ਥੈਟ ਗੋਸ ਓਨ ਥੇਅਰ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਆਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲੀ ਨੋ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਇਨਵੋਲਵਡ ਵਿਦ ਥੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਲਪ ਥੋਸ ਐਸ ਮਚ ਐਸ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ Absolutely. So this week we've got some special donors. Oh, fantastic. Who is it this week? <coughs> so we've got Falcons Primary School that have made a donation. So have you fantastic. visited Falcons Primary School? They're in Leicester, aren't they? Yes, they are. My children have. I haven't actually been myself, but I've heard really great things about <coughs> them. So Falcons Primary School have been through their Ofsted and they've got a very good Ofsted report that anybody can go online and view it. It's absolutely recommended reading, especially on their religious uh, Ofsted inspection as well. Oh, so the latest news is that they are applying for a secondary, I think. Oh, wow. That they would be brilliant. very, very that pleased to learn that they are applying for a secondary, and that's going to be called Falcons Academy. Okay, wow. which is uh, the, which is the bit that they've applied for, and the places should be released. So if you're really interested, sign up, look up the website, and get get to know what's going on. Excellent. And I think building on the success of primary, it's, it uh, stands to reason that it's going to be an absolutely. Yes, and we're going to actually show some videos uh, shortly where you can see some of the activities that go on yeah. at Falcons, and you can see the great setup that they've got. there but also uh, i think it just reflects why they've got such a great report yes. on it yes. uh, from offset that so they're very really very well. strong governing body supporting them a very established governing body that's very uh, actively involved and they are making advances with uh, lots of different initiatives that, uh, with sikhi and with the community so look much out needed. for much needed much needed so thank you thank you to falcons for uh, <laughs> thank you very much stepping for up and, and trying to get uh, a secondary school going as well which is yes. a brilliant save well done okay uh, we want to give quick mention to wygru foundation as well and they're working with the children society we mentioned a few weeks ago that they're collecting toys and books uh, up and down the country in various good dollar sides you, you probably see a list on the screen right now yeah really? so they can yep. they can uh, new, the new toys please new books as well you can drop off your donations if you've got some to for the children society at uh, mrs singh's branches up and down the country and yep. some of the god the main god as well Absolutely. and they really appreciate that all those children would definitely appreciate your donations yeah. and in the memory of mata <coughs> gujar koji and the sabs are as well and what a great cause that is and a fantastic save a fantastic stick per child as well yes. that six are helping everybody you know at this time especially when it's near christmas as well yes. and people who I don't have anybody they're going to get and some presents in, well, instead of like sangaji buying presents for yourself you know go buy them for these charities and, and do some more good those people out there that they're donating to their children out there they are going to appreciate them so much absolutely going to make a absolutely, difference to yeah. their this 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 is time this 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 suspicious time that different yes. communities yeah. and different religious groups are celebrating in their own different ways brilliant yeah and also can i <laughs> say a quick thing? thank you also to I am 1313 who have released quite a few soundtracks lately uh, especially marketed towards six children and uh, really really catchy yeah. tunes and rhymes that they've created I think what they've done is very very innovative mm. so they've joined the sangeet with guru sahib's message in such a wonderful way that in a melodious way and through music that without you know it you're learning about guru sahib's amazing kirpa yes. that he's done and, right. and the then that he's given the tracks are absolutely outstanding if you go down download those from google play as well they are absolutely worth Actually yeah we've actually used some of them in some of our footage a couple of years ago. Anyway, you wonder where it's yeah. from. It's from I am 1313. 13. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, shall we say a big thank you to all our donors? Absolutely. This week, I think it's really important that we do that. Starting with Mandeep Singh from Derby, thank you very much. We've got Harpinder Bapra from Kenilworth. Thank you very much for your donation. And Kamaljit Tandava from uh, Mrs. Kamaljit Tandava from Slough and she gave a really nice message as well when she gave the donation. She said you're all doing an amazing job. So thank you for that. Thank you. And uh, she said that you know what you guys are doing the seva that you guys it makes me really feel proud to be a Sikh. And that is so much really nice words and
ਕਿ ਸੰਪਰਕ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਜਿਹਨੇ ਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਿਹਨੇ ਜਾਣੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦਸਵੰਦ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਦਸਵੰਦ ਦੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਵੱਖਰੇ ਕਾਰਜਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਰਤਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸਿਰਫ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁਣ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖੋ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ 12 ਤਰੀਕ ਨੂੰ 12th ਨਵੰਬਰ ਵੀ ਰਿਲੀਸਿੰਗ ਸਿਕੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਕਸ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਐਡਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਐਪ ਹੋਣਾ ਇਹ ਬਹੁਤ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨੀਆਂ ਨਵੀਂ ਨਵੀਂ ਕਾਢਾਂ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪੰਥ ਤੇ ਗਾਂ ਦੇ ਫਿਊਚਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਆ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨੀ ਰਿਸੋਰਸਿਸ ਪਾਏ ਹੋਏ ਆ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਰਿਸੋਰਸਿਸ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਅਟੈਚਡ ਟੂ ਸਿਕਟਮ ਸੋ ਵੈਨ ਯੂ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਸ਼ਬਦ देयर ਆਰ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਬਿਹਾਈਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਸਚ ਐਸ ਦ ਕਥਾ ਫੋਰ ਥੈਟ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਔਰ ਕੀਰਤਨ ਫੋਰ ਥੈਟ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਥੈਟਸ ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅੰਟ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਵੀਵ ਸਕੈਨਡ ਇਨ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਫਰਮ ਵੈਰੀਅਸ ਬੁੱਕਸ ਵਿਚ ਆਰ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਨ ਥੈਟ ਵਨ ਐਪ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਰਿਸਰਚ ਟੂਲ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਬਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਫੋਰ ਜਨਰਲ ਸੰਗਤ ਇਟਸ ਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਅ ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅੰਟ ਟੂਲ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਫੋਰ ਸਿਕੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਕਸ ਹੈਜ਼ ਬੀਨ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਅਲੋਂਗ ਫੋਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਮੈਨੀ ਇਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਥੋਸ ਆਫ ਯੂ ਫੋਲੋ ਦ ਜਰਨੀ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ ਸਿਕੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਕਸ ਵਾਸ ਲਾਂਚਡ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਲਾਂਚਡ ਅ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਫ ਇਅਰਸ ਅਗੋ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਵਾਸ ਵਰਜਨ 1 ਐਂਡ ਵੀਵ ਹੈਡ ਵਰਜਨ 2 ਵੀਵ ਹੈਡ ਵਰਜਨ 3 ਸਿੰਸ ਥੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਆ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਐਪ ਪਲੈਟਫਾਰਮ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਲਾਂਚਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਸਟ ਵੀਕਸ ਸ਼ੋ ਬਾਈ ਥ ਸੇਮ ਸਿੰਗ ਥ ਪਰਸਨ ਆਰਗਨਾਈਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਆਲ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਿਕੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਕਸ ਸੇਵਰ ਹੀ ਡਿਡ ਅ ਸ਼ੋ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਔਨ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਸ ਟੂ ਐਡ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਮੋਰ ਐਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਵੀਕ ਸੋ ਲੁੱਕ ਆਊਟ ਫੋਰ ਥੈਟ ਬਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਮਿਸਡ ਇਟ ਗੋ ਆਨਲਾਈਨ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਦ ਯੂਟਿਊਬ ਚੈਨਲ ਫੋਰ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਟੀਵੀ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਚ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਫੀਡਬੈਕ ਥੈਟ ਵੀਵ ਹੈਡ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਕ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਲੋਡਸ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਸਟੋਪ ਮੀ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਗੋਦਰਸ ਆਈ ਸੈਡ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਰੀਲੀ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫੋਰਵਰਡ ਟੂ ਸਿਕੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਕਸ ਔਨ ਦ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਵੀਵ ਸੀਨ ਦ ਐਡਵਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਟਸ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਸੇਵਰ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਗਾਇਸ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸੋ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫੋਰ ਥੈਟ ਰੀਲੀ ਰੀਲੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਕੰਸਟਰਕਟਿਵ ਫੀਡਬੈਕ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਵਾਂਟਡ ਟੂ ਲੈਟ ਇਟ ਨੋ ਥੈਟ ਨੋਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਦ ਸਿਕੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਕਸ ਐਂਡ ਅਦਰ ਐਪਸ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਦ ਮਨੀ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਦ ਆਈ ਕੈਂਪ ਵਿਚ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੋਡ ਯੂ ਲਾਸਟ ਵੀਕ ਥੈਟਸ ਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਸਮ ਫੁਟੇਜ ਲੇਟਰ ਓਨ ਵਿਚ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੀ ਜਸਟ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਿੰਗ ਅ ਬਿਟ ਮੋਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵਾਟ ਵੀ ਡਿਡ ਇਨ ਹਿਮਾਚਲ ਪ੍ਰਦੇਸ਼ ਲਾਸਟ ਵੀਕ ਸੋ ਆ ਲੁਕ ਫੋਰ ਟੂ ਸੀਨ ਥੈਟ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਯਾ 12th ਆਫ ਨਵੰਬਰ ਗੈਟ ਰੈਡੀ ਗੈਟ ਰੈਡੀ ਟੂ ਡਾਊਨਲੋਡ ਸਿਕੀ ਟੂ ਦ ਮੈਕਸ ਓਨ ਦ ਗੂਗਲ ਪਲੇ ਸਟੋਰ ਔਰ ਦ ਐਪ ਸਟੋਰ Share Charity UK bring you another fantastic book from Sikh history, Guru Nanak and the Boulder. Wonderful illustrations and a little reflection quiz. It's written in rhyme for you and your offspring to enjoy. The book is available on eBay and Amazon now. Okay, what's on tonight's show, Benji? So, Casa Club segment has got different types of saver. Oh, excellent. Okay, and uh, in the five minutes with, which is the interview Bibi Justine Gordon normally does, this week it's by the same thing, who is the original creator of Sikhi to the Max, that, you know, the, the projection that you see in all your good dress types. And uh, that's, that's, that should be a great interview uh, that, he's, that she's doing with him today. So, the comedy section that you guys have loved so much is going to be absolutely special this week. We've got really the good. great Punjabi Baker. Oh, excellent. That should be so good. I watch the Bake Off normally. Do you watch that? Yes. Oh, it's excellent. I, I love enjoying it. I, we enjoy as a family watching that. And don't forget, competition. We've got to say that because there's only three weeks left now for, yeah. the, for, for that competition. So if you want to send that in, please do. The deadline do. is when? The deadline is 24th of November. So oh, okay. a video, a piece of artwork, anything that your kids have done or other kids have done yeah. that you want to share in, please do. We've got the boys from the Derby National Sikh Museum as well. They're going to be talking about the significance of this week uh, in Sikh
Courtney Sean Singh. Ganit Ko. Bob and Ko. Pinty Ko. Ganit Ko. This week's show is all about Seva. The children here have been learning about Seva and we're going to discuss some facts about Seva and what Seva is. First of all, Seva. What does Seva actually mean? Seva is selfless service. We do it without expecting a reward. Bainti, what does Seva mean to you? Seva is a really big part of our, seek, our daily Sikh life. So what else can you tell me about Seva? Well, Seva is more about using your talents and time to help other people rather than your money and your wealth. You should do Seva with love and take up some of your free time. This Seva will make you a better person. In our Guru Granth Sahib Ji, it also mentions there's three types of Seva. Gunnishan, can you expand on this? Um, the three types of seva are dan, man and dan. Dan means working in the langar hall and helping out elsewhere in the Gurdwara. That's right, that's physical seva, isn't it? So, man? <coughs> man is mental service. Um, an example of this is studying the Guru Granth Sahib Ji and teaching others. Dan is material service such as giving ch uh, money to charity and helping the poor. So Maskeen, can you just expand on seva? So the seva we do in the Godwara, what other types of seva can we do? The other types of seva could be helping your parents at home, um, helping the poor, um, feeding the poor and helping your grandparents. Seva forms such an important part of Sikhism. Why is seva so important? As Sikhs, we do seva because we're here in this world to serve our Hegu, but we serve God and the world. This is an example of Man. Anand is learning part from Habibi Ji. <laughs> As part of seva, the spand also forms a very important part, and we're just going to talk about that now. So, what Guruji's taught is that we should always give the spand, and the spand is one tenth of our earnings. Yeah. So, when we go to work, we should always give Guruji one tenth of our earnings. So, I'm going to give you an example of what that is, because it might be a bit hard for you to understand. So, for example, I've got something very special in my hand. Can anyone guess what it could be? Chocolate. No. What's this noise? Money. Money. And there's loads of gold coins. Okay. So, this is 10 gold coins that I'm going to put on the mat. Okay. And one tenth is given to Guruji. So, that's one coin, yeah? So, Ram Singh, if you just hold on to that one coin, so that's 10%, 10, 10 one tenth given to Guruji, and the rest of the money is all yours to spend. So, if you want to hold on to that, Ishwar, so how many coins are there now? How many 90%. coins? 90%. 90%, nine coins. So, you can still do lots of things with that. You could buy lots of new clothes and lots of shopping and new toys, yeah? But you're only giving 1% to Guruji. Isn't that amazing? Yeah? yeah? Yeah. So what we should always be grateful for Guruji is that we were given the swand as to Guruji because he's given us so much. So giving one tenth of our earnings is hardly anything to what Guruji has given to us. So we should always appreciate that. Serve Guru like this, we then become happy Serving those in need, by helping those in pain Serving those in need, so everyone can gain Seva is the way we can use our hands to pray Seva is the way we can change the world today Seva is the way, Seva is the way Seva is the way, so let's all serve today Makes 
be grateful, it's how I spend my time Serving Guru Nanak, I now have peace of mind Thinking of my Guru, I just can't wait to start Thinking of my Guru, I serve with all my heart Seva is the way we can use our hands to pray Seva is the way we can change the world today Seva is the way, Seva is the way Seva is the way, so let's all serve today God within. Serve others like this, we wash away our sins. Seva makes me happy, feel this warmth inside. I'm feeling really happy, my Guru's made me kind. Seva karat hoye nahe kaami Tis ko ho te parapit swami Apni kirpa jise aap kare Nanak so sevak gor ki mat le Seva karat hoye nahe kaami Tis ko ho te parapit swami Apni kirpa jise aap kare Nanak so sevak gor ki mat le Seva is the way we can use our hands to pray Seva is the way we can change the world today Seva is the way, Seva is the way Seva is the way, so let's all serve today some seva. I'm going to do some jolly on these seva as well. My guru, my guru, my guru, my guru. <laughs> Wow, didn't you learn lots about different types of seva? I certainly did. I hope you all do the same. I really hope you enjoyed today's show. I hope you learned lots and everything that you've learned today, make sure you also do that at home. So Guruji spoke about, in the Guru Granth Sahib, three types of seva. So make sure you do than, man, than at home. Thank you for watching today's show. Vai Guruji ka khasa, vai Guruji ki fateh. So Jocelyn goes out again this week for our five minutes with Who's she with this week? She's interviewed by the same thing, who was the original creator of Sikki to Sikhi the Max. To the Max yeah. uh, well, this should be a really interesting uh, interview. Enjoy. Vai Guruji ka khasa, vai Guruji ki fateh. Today we're here with Baitar Sam Singh Ji, who is, who's travelled the world doing Sikhi prachar and is a creator of the well-known Gurbani application Sikhi to the Max. We have five minutes to interview by Sam Ji and I'm going to start the clock now. Why would you Why would you Why I understand that you weren't always from an Amatari background and you weren't always an Amatari. So how did you come into Sikhi? So um, initially my mum took Amrit when I was um, probably about 19 and then I slowly just started studying Sikhi. So I found out, I went to, um, I went to a Sikh camp once uh, a, a Sikh called Pai Nirmal Singh, he's passed away now, but he, he did a lecture there, so I learned a bit about Sikhi there. I read some books and I also used to listen to Katha and Kirtan from uh, Pai Balavinda Singh Rangila and, um, um, and a few other uh, Katha Vajas at the time. That's great, Pai Sabji. Have you had any special experiences while being on this journey? Um, probably there's been a lots of different types of experience, so I've gained kind of, um, kind of the worldly understanding about how people develop spiritually, how we have problems, but in terms of like personal gains I've learned a lot of things about what Guruji has said and also sometimes when you do Sikhi and you follow it you've got to be careful about how you act as well because 
when uh, Guru said, when we speak, you know, we're very careful what words we use. So sometimes when you say things, things come true. You know, I've had it things where I've had difficult times, perhaps in, in uh, when I've had challenges, and Guru kind of saved me there. So been quite a few different ones. It's probably hard to explain in a short time. Wonderful. Um, have you got any messages you would like to give to the youth? Um, I think for the youth, the key thing is that we have to uh, live a life inspired by Guruji. So Gurbani has to be kind of the core of our life. Um, and Nam Japana, obviously, that's part of all of that um, Sikhi lifestyle. But one of the things to remember in life is that, you know, um, always whenever we're doing anything to remember Guruji first, have um, Gurbani as our daily routine, um, to one of the other areas is, is, is emotion. So loving Guruji, that's sometimes a hard thing because we can't see Guruji all the time. Um, and we can't see um, why Guru. So developing that relationship that's emotional. Um, so Guruji saying like living in a in a, a life with a bit of with fear of doing something wrong, with having an emotion of love towards Guruji to say I sacrifice everything that I have to Guru. That's the the kind of hard the hard part of, of it. So there's that there's that lifestyle, but also to be a respectful and tolerant Gursik as well. To live uh, harmoniously in the in the panth, that's really important at this stage. How do you become that respectful and harmonious person? Um, it's, that's a really good question. And uh, Guruji and Bani has said that the two real uh, amazing virtues that a person can have is mithat nivi nanaka, guna changeya tata. So to have to speak with uh, humility and have sweet speech. Um, and that has to be practiced not just at the Gurdwara, it has to be practiced everywhere. And that's, uh, so it's, it's quite challenging to do that in professional environments as well, but also in your family. So, um, so we have to first have those two gone. And Guruji describes a lot of, um, a lot of those virtues. But if you watch the, the Guru's Gyan section, Smart Sikhi bit, you know, we'll, all of these things get covered in all of that. Hope you're watching. <laughs> Don't worry, yeah. <laughs> Um, by subject, I've been told you were a bit of a boxer before. Uh, what level did you get up to? That's just that's a myth. It's legendary stuff, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I was. I mean, I was. I grew up in a quite a rough neighbourhood, and at that time, you know, we got. I got nearly got stabbed once by someone who's a lot older than me, and then chased home by lots of people, and all sorts of things happened. So, I learnt it more as a self defence thing. But it was more, I started off uh, practicing, but I, I was very much into boxing as well. I, I still know a lot of the history about boxing. Um, but um, it was more it was self defense, and then eventually I ended up coaching, coaching boxing as well. So, Sikh Family Center here, we have in Coventry, we, uh, uh, boxing is a key focus here. It's not, I'm not part of the overall training here or anything, but um, uh, we, 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 we helped kind of make this uh, uh, family center initially. That's great, Vaisabji. We have just about 45 seconds. Is there anything else you would like to say to not only the youth, but to the Sangha? Because we've just touched upon the youth. So to the, to the Sangha and everybody um, watching, I think the main thing for everybody is uh, become good Gursikhs. Whoever hasn't done Umrath, I would say that's really a, an important part of our life. Um, Nam Japana and Gurbani every day, but also looking after ourselves um, from a kind of a mental health point of view, that's very important as well, is to, for everybody to be um, not just spiritually uh, strong, but also physically and mentally. Thank you, Faisal. We've crammed a lot of information in five minutes. And please stay tuned for more. It will be more in the Guru's Gyan section, will be coming, which will be coming up in the show. And that's the clock right there. So thank you again, Bhai Sabji. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming and putting time into this. Why good you got Oh, did you hear what happened after the interview? No. My God, listen, you got to watch this. How was the interview? It was how'd it good. Go? It was very good. Bhai Sab reckons he was really good at boxing, so let's see how good he really is. That's my boss. Thank you. Come put the, remember, all the training we've been doing, all the Rocky videos we've been watching, come on, sort, sort, sort him out. I'm gonna take this guy out.
Up next, we are bringing you the final of the great Punjabi Bake Off. This has been really well put together. The guys have done a great job, really funny. I'm really looking forward to this. Excellent. Okay, bakers, your time is up. And that was your last signature bake of the great Punjabi Bake Off. Oh, Rolinda, come here. Okay, Rubinda, would you like to bring yours up? Rubinda has prepared a large family sized samosa on a bed of chilies presented on the Punjab Times newspaper. No, I was expecting for the final. What the flipping samosa was it? Nice texture. Nice lettering. Free Punjab, eh? We would like to open job to be free one day. Interesting point. Tasting beer with chicken here. Yeah, it's quite a little bit of a taste. I'm a radical vegetarian. Very disappointing. <laughs> That's a very interesting shape here. Oh my god! That's a lot of chili! Too many more now! Oh wait, you missed a bit. Thank you, Rubina. She's got no chance. Kim Jo, would you like to bring yours up, please? Oh. Ooh, let's try this. Let's cook some food first. Okay? That'll be enough for you, right? Right. My turn now. You know what? It deserves it. Wahe Guruji ka khalsa, Wahe Guruji ki fadil. Wow, you got the sat ball fadil. Very well done, King Joy. Thank you. Okay, Rahulinda, please bring up your masterpiece. is a look uncooked. Okay. That cooks very nicely. That's just a bit salty. Yes, I, I used my own sweat. Because I wanted to show you that Punjabi people are very hard working, so I thought I'd bring the essence into the dish. What? <laughs> okay, thank you, Arlinda. Obviously, uh, it could have gone better. Um, 
Just one second, guys. Just hold on. Wahibuli G. I know I came to. I don't come to the brother that often, but when I came last time, I didn't put my judney on my head, and I'm really, really, really sorry about that. But if I win, I will bring cupcakes and ladles for the Gyanis. I think I did okay today. She licked the cream off my face, and I didn't really like that. And I am Jutta now. I, I, I don't know, I don't think I did very well, you know, like, I think the gulab jamun might be too salty. I need a bit more time, you know, because I think I might put a bit too much salt in them, you know, like, I don't think I did very well at all, you know, like, I, I'm sorry, I'm just very nervous. Sapul and Fluida will now announce the winner. This year's Great Punjabi Bake Off winner 2018 is Rahul Well, you know what? I thought he was going to win. Really? I was expecting Rubinda to win because she's done really well up to now. Her, some of her bakes have been excellent. Yeah, that's true. Uh, anyway, Rahul Linda's the winner. Well done to him. Uh, next, we've got the boys from the Derby Sikh Museum, and they're talking about the. Uh, so, so every week, every, they talk about stuff like what's relevant in Sikh history in that week. Uh, they're here, they're touching upon the assassination of Indira Gandhi, who was the Prime Minister of India at the time, and all the bad stuff that she did, and why, why she, got, you know, why she was assassinated. So uh, this should be quite an interesting piece, yes, I think. Yes. Dikhe sabhe tha, nahi tuj jehya. Wahi Guruji ka khalsa, Wahi Guruji ki vate. From National Sikh Museum in Derby. This week we're going to talk about what led to the assassination of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi on 31st of October 1984. Kutta Raj Bahaliya, Fir Assassination was the direct attack on Darbar Sahib, on Sri Akal Takh Sahib. It wasn't just the Akal Takh Sahib or the Darbar Sahib which was attacked. There were 38 plus other Gurdwara Sahibs around Punjab simultaneously attacked. It wasn't the building that was attacked of Sri Akal Takh Sahib. It was the supreme authority of the Sikhs. What led to this attack? What happened for things to go this far? It all started from Punjab police corruption, biased media, and corrupt politicians. Police seeking bounties, politicians seeking higher powers, superior powers, to move up, police were thinking to get the ranks, to get more stars on their shoulders. Fake encounters. All this put together, whilst all this was taking place, there were no judicial inquiries being sent to Punjab for all this innocent killings by the authority taking place at the time. And then, what led to the attack, what led to the destruction by tanks, helicopters, gas, anything that you would use, a country would use against another country, not against its own people. How did it even go that far? Once all this had happened, and then what made the bodyguards of the Prime Minister, Sardar Byant Singh and Sukhwant Singh, to take the matter into their own hands and to actually assassinate the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi at the time. Now, 
what was going through their minds. This was going through their minds. Some may ask, had they not sworn to protect? Indeed. What did they swear on? Whose oath were they under? Siri Akartakht, Siri Darbar Sahib. Most importantly, Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Now, if the Guru Granth Sahib Ji had been desecrated multiple times, Akal Takht had been destroyed, Harmandar Sahib had been attacked, did that oath still stand? Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. That was really interesting how they put mm -hmm. that all together and uh, showed us some of the uh, uh, artifacts in the National Sikh Museum in Derby uh, regarding uh, the, the desecration of the Gal Dakt. Yes. That was really interesting. And uh, next we've got um, Sher Sikh here with Benji. Yes, we have. I think just a point on, on Sikh history, it is important that we talk about Sikh history with our children, yeah. even though it can be slightly uncomfortable yes. and we want to brush yeah. it to one side because we don't know the facts. Yeah. I think it is important to learn the facts and actually what happened at that time and who are the key players in that absolutely, absolutely. and likewise with our share sticky segment up next the bus behind me here has got uh, is full of patients who came to the hospital today so the share charity um, I camp that happened yesterday um, along with the Guru Nanak Mission Trust, who actually run the hospital here, have completed the operations for 56 patients. Now, some of those patients, even it could have been up to five of them, were actually did have life-threatening um, ailments. So, by just doing a basic sugar test, for instance, some had very low sugar, which is uh, very, very dangerous. And there were some that was exceeding even, you know, really high levels in terms of sugar. So. It's because they're poor people from poor villages. They don't actually understand basic health and they don't understand what the basic tests that they need to check their blood sugar levels or even these operations that have happened. They've been more around eyesight and even even there, were, there was a dentist uh, uh, and dental care that happened yesterday too. So we need to obviously do more camps like this because I think we take our own um, national health service and all the things that we get in terms of benefits um, in countries like the UK for granted and people like this who are just um, they can't afford anything like this don't have the basic knowledge I mean, even yesterday there was somebody who was giving them um, a talk after their basic checks just telling them about basic diet and how you know just eating garlic just eating olives just even eating even aubergines you know how that helps their uh, their basic health and how in in India now things like you know the fridge and those frozen and processed products and even soft drinks they're drinking a lot of them here now and that's actually damaging their health quite badly we're just outside the operating rooms now so we're going to pop in and we're going to have to wear um, face masks because of germs and things we're just going to go in and record some of the patients and the operation that are happening from a distance we can't obviously talk to the patients but it gives us an idea about who is being operated on and um, how they're doing their specific eye operations. There were 56 patients who came to the hospital today. Um, about 30 of them are on the bus at the moment. And so we're going to go and do sh a very short interview with a few of them just to see what benefit they gained from coming to the camp yesterday and also um, how their health has improved or will improve shortly. Today you came to the hospital? Yes. Did you have an operation? Yes, I had an operation. I had a pain for years. Okay. I had a lot of pain. I had a lot of pain. So, you were told that you had a lot of pain? Yes, I had a lot of pain. 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 
ਡਾਕਟਰ ਵਧੀਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਗਏ ਸੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਵਾਪਸ ਆ ਗਏ ਉੱਥੇ ਕੋਈ ਉੱਥੇ ਕਿਉਂ ਵਾਪਸ ਆ ਗਏ ਉੱਥੋਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਤਾਂ ਰੈਜੀਮੈਂਟ ਹੀ ਇੰਨਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਧੀਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਜਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਰ ਅੱਛਾ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਟੀਕਾ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਅੱਖ ਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਟਾਂਕਾ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਦੂਰ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਚਾਹ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਿਹਰਬਾਨੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਆਏ ਸੀਗੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੱਲ ਕੈਂਪ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਹੀਰਾ ਪਿੰਡ ਚ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਆ ਕੇ ਚੈੱਕਅਪ ਕਰਾਇਆ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਚੈੱਕਅਪ ਕਰਾਇਆ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਬਾਕੀ ਦਵਾਈ ਦੁਈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਮਿਲ ਗਏ ਪ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਮੇਰਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਾਰ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਦਾ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਹੋਰ ਆਏ ਸੀਗੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਚੁਣਜੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਚੁਣਜੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਆਏ ਸੀਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਜੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਠੀਕ ਤੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਠੀਕ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਹਾਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੁਣ ਇਦਾਂ ਇਹ ਕੈਂਪ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜੂਕੇ ਦੀ ਸੁਸਾਇਟੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕੈਂਪ ਲਗਾਇਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਗਏ ਸੀਗੇ ਉੱਥੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਕਦੇ ਉਸ ਇਲਾਕੇ 'ਚ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਵੀ ਕਿਤੇ ਕੈਂਪ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਕੈਂਪ ਦੇ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਲੱਗ ਕਈ ਕਈ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਜੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਪੂਰੇ ਕੈਂਪ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਜੇ ਕੈਂਪ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਇਹਦੀ ਕੀ ਕੀ ਖਾਸੀਅਤ ਸੀਗੀ ਇਸ ਕੈਂਪ ਦੀ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਠੀਕ ਤੇ ਜੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਇਹ ਵਧੀਆ ਕੀਤੀ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਠੀਕ ਕੰਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਜੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਕੋਈ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਆਰਾਮ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਵੇਰ ਤੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਇਸ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਂ ਇਸ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਬਾਰੇ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਜੀ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਤੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਬਾਤ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੇ ਬਾਤ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਹੋਰ ਕੈਂਪ ਲਾਵੇ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਦੀ ਜੀ ਤਾਂ ਸੰਸਥਾ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਦੀ ਲੱਗਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਹਦੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਹੋਰ ਕੰਮ ਜਾਏ ਇੰਨੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਹੋਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਣਗੇ ਚਲੋ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਿਹਰਬਾਨੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਤੇ ਇੰਨੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ so we need to obviously all of the knowledge that we have in to, in in our western countries we need to bring that back here to the punjab and do more camps where we're helping these individuals and even i think one one of the um, one of the elders there who had an operation he was saying obviously if you do another camp here again you know at least this amount of people will come again for for treatment so it's really important that we um, sponsor you know put some money together put all, put all, all our efforts together to get a lot of these going around not just in this in the uh, una ilaka or village or where we went yesterday but across the whole of india so although there are there are camps i think there's still lots of work to be done here wahe guru wahe The new Sikhi to the Max application will be released in November 2018 in celebration of the 550th Gurpurb Guru Nanak Dev Ji. Searching is very fast and there are many different types of search that you can use including an advanced search and first letter searching in English. The app will be released in November so please watch the share charity show to get more updates yeah, we have in life and how much blessing Guru has given us but there more now we haven't gone deeper in terms of understanding Guru and to understand the message that Guru Sahib is trying to um, tell us um, that we read Guru and we're not really for example in the internet especially in the internet um, I I can say I can struggle with that quite a lot. So we read it and we get through it, but you know, do I at the end of the after I've done the onset, do I have I really taken the message? Have I really understood what onset is trying to say? Have I applied something from every every day when I read it there? So I can say that I'm you know that's something that I, I personally struggle with. Um and you know having that hundred percent focus even at other dinner or, or even you know, the 100% of folks, whatever I'm doing, if it's Sikhi related, you know, if it's uh, trying to connect with Guru, I'm 100% folks, and we say that in order for us to come in, uh, as a group, we say, in order to improve
um, we should just focus on how much ecology is given up there their own lives, their whole families, and what they've left for us. And we should just appreciate everything that he's done for us. Um, in the way of changing ourselves, we were saying um, at the group that firstly we should start with self-discipline. Secondly is routine. So, it, you know, when you start by, even if you do five minutes a day, and then 10 minutes, I think gradually. So like when you do a car journey to work, start doing, if you start off, daily saying, right, I'm just going to run from when I leave my house to to by the time I get to work. And then automatically that starts working. And then if you do it, the whole provide around you, then we'll start changing so they know we're going to sit in the car, we'll all start doing cinema. And then just little bits, and then if we start working together and, you know, doing their last and stuff and doing side song with it in the home, it becomes a better atmosphere and going into the good world. And it just starts becoming your lifestyle, and that's how you can merge with good what you need will do more good by yourself. Um, the other thing I think is really important is by reading up on the history, by reading the history and how much good has given us and done for us, you automatically start getting that drive in your heart where your heart pierces and you just love what he's done for us and we just don't appreciate it. Sometimes we take advantage of it and then we lose it very quickly. What we've kind of done is made the uh, the Gondara is the only place where we'll do the Atam Karan and then outside of that we'll go and do, we'll just be stuck in home all the time. So it's kind of like welcome to the Gondara, you'll let such some people and then as soon as you're out the door, it's, uh, you're, you're talking about stuff you shouldn't be talking about or you know, you're going home watching TV or whatever. So you kind of just limited it to the Gondara and you're only doing that Karan there. Whereas in the rest of your day you're not doing it, so you're not taking full advantage there. And then whatever you're, you're doing at the Godara, you're losing it straight away anyway. And like you said earlier, when you talk about it, you said the the book is on Yaman Yaman Keep That Bow. We've listened and listened and listened, but we've never got past that stage, so we're just stuck there. So we just keep listening, we come every week, we listen, but then we don't, we don't accept it. And then you can't love it if you haven't accepted it, so we're just stuck in that first stage. It's more interesting, inter that's why soaps and all those other things on television, they're popular. It's more interesting to see Bakan dramas, which aren't true, than it is to look at your life and say, hmm, that's quite interesting, what's happening? Because we've made our life really boring, and they're trying their best to scam as much money out of you as possible, and make it interesting so that you join some, uh, some false thing that makes it, makes it very clean. You know, we talk about social media here as well. Social media, um, be very careful what you start writing on social media. Huh? Be very careful. Slowly, uh, people have started documenting their whole lives on social media. Um, when you start writing stuff on there, you can't take it off. You can't take that thing off. It stays there, it gets crystallized. And that's been the downfall of many people as well. So, although social media has got some very positive benefits to it, it's got a lot of negatives to it as well. So be careful about the balance of that. And television has been through that for a long time, but the internet is a very different animal than the television. Very, very different indeed. Um, television relic was generally control. It was, a, it was a good way of controlling the people. So you got a story. The story that the media people wanted you to hear, you kind of got it, right? So you were locked into how they wanted to present something to you. You were locked into these programs that you had to watch and everyone was watching them and you were generally, whereas what the internet's done is opened up in a positive way, but in many, many ways a negative way, is opened up a different environment and different thing. So although there's lots of sicky stuff there, everything else that's going on on the planet's all there as well. Everything. And when we go back to current philosophy, I want you to just think about this. Think about it. If I want to create a website, and I'm, you, I could be anybody, what's my motivation to create the website? And there could be many, many motivations for that, but sometimes that motivation ain't for your interests. Um, so, so that's a big. That's the world. The internet for me is the reflection of the world. I believe that you know the internet. When you look at what's popular, what's not popular, what's been made, what's not been made. That's the reflection of the world. When we say, I'm bringing it back to taking advantage of this, Guruji saying, Guru Bani is the Jagamet Janan. 
in this dunya, everything's black. Everything's darkness. All of that's darkness. It just builds with depression. It's horrible. But Guruji says this Gurbani is the Janan. This is the light. This is the light in the darkness. He said, you join with the light, you get really happy. Now, even though some people have said, and I think I think um, Inda touched on it as well, even if you don't understand the Gurbani, I'm not saying to anybody, just go and read it, keep reading it, it's all right, you don't read about it. But even if you don't understand it, you know, it doesn't matter. The, the, the purpose of understanding some of the fourth state thing we're talking about is just by it being something being done there, no, even no one's under, understanding. Don't get me wrong, secret of the maxim, we, you know, we were part of making that kind of thing, but that doesn't mean everybody understands Gurbani now. Far from it. You know, so even if it's Shabbat there and the translation there, that doesn't mean we understand it. It just means you've got something to start understanding some of the words. It doesn't mean we understand it. But the understanding will come, what Guruji says is, E Bani Mahapurk ki Neji Karvasa hoi that this Bani, a Mahapurkhandi Bani, a Mahapurkhandi Bani, this is the essence of God on this planet. But what Guruji says is it takes you straight into Nijika. That Bani takes you inside to a house that's there. There's a different house inside. That Bani is taking you, it all pulls you in. And what all this other stuff is doing is pulling us out. It's trying to say, stay outside, Tika. It's nice, isn't it? You know, you see, you see all these different things. Rang barangi, and then what by the way, the akhi dek na raje bo rang to mashi. It it raje diya. Your eyes will never get, they'll never get full. They'll be saying, oh, I'll see this today. Then I'll see that tomorrow. Then I'll see that. It, it, they'll never get full up. But only gosik by going into that body says, I don't want to look outside anymore. The day when you say, I don't want to look outside anymore, you'll progress. The day when you say, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear it anymore. I don't want to hear it. Then you'll progress. The day your jeep says, I don't want to talk barnum anymore. I want to talk andanum. If you go to the first four or five body out on one side, each body has got a very different context. When we say Ananda Pea, I'm in my. Now, oh, that's all about a Guru describing Ananda Gia. What is? What's happening? But you, if, you, if you go up from there, Guru said, E Manamiriya. So he's gone away from what Anahat Shabada and all those things. He says, My man. Now, Guru saying, talking to his man in the second body. Now, so the second body, which was supposed to be talking under him, E Manamiriya, to Sadara or Haranande. But then the third body goes to Sachi Saiba, Kyan Hikar Tere. So, oh, now that's gone to Wahiguru. Now, when we took that car, can still be inwards as well. This is the interesting part of Gurbani. That car can still be saying inwards because Nijikaro and Dara. So that doesn't mean outside, that's inside too. When you find that house, that house is linked to all the houses because that's why it was inside. So even the car, so you, you understand the context, then this, when. Um, Sacha nam mera adaro. Then that's the description. Say mera e mera adar ya nam. Nam is my sustenance. E mera adar ya. So that three four body of Anansar have gone to different places. So if you just keep, if we just read Anansar, there's a, um, another memory of Anansar, another memory of Anansar, another memory of Anansar. There's no context of each body. Each body is changing. Or they're all different. Are. And that's why if you slowly understand that the the the, 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 the change that's slowly happening. You will see that sometimes inwards, sometimes it's a guru, sometimes it's a white guru, sometimes it's guru to us, sometimes it's to our man who said, hey man, chanchala, chataraikin in apai. Now we're telling it off. Now we're going to pay to you, you are really, you're crazy as man is. Hey man, chanchala, chataraikin, you ain't going to get anywhere with your clever tricks. That's a, that's a, this to your man. So you see how the context is changing. And shabbas are all like that too. Shabbas are different. Sometimes the shabbas is a bainti and sometimes it's a, it's a pukar. In other words, it's like we're really reaching out to God saying we can't do anything. Sometimes it's a ras, sometimes it's an anand. So when we read Shab, for instance, when we say, Okhi kari na dekhan dei, ite dei ni ka na dei, we don't put bindi, because that changes the up. This is saying, Okhi kari na dekhan dei, 
ਆਪਣਾ ਬਿਰਦ ਸਮਾਲੇ ਉਹ ਔਖੀ ਘੜੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇਖਣ ਦਾ ਹੀ ਜਸ ਗੋਡ ਡਸ ਲੈਟ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਇਟ ਅ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਯੂ ਹਾ ਆਫ ਹਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਦਾ ਸੇਮ ਹਾਥ ਦੇ ਰੱਖੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੋ ਸਾ ਸਾ ਸਤ ਸਪਾਦੇ ਬਟ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਰੀਡ ਦੈਟ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਦਾ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਅਰ ਸੈਂਸ ਫਾਰ ਰਹਾਉ ਤੋ ਦ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰਾਵਸਿਓ ਲਾਗ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਮੇਰਾ ਚੀਤ ਮਾਈ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਇਸ ਲੱਗਾ so this anand is not talking not that of they we are not telling our mind anything in that shabd guru saying mera man ta lag gaya is lovely i love it aad ant prab sada sahai tan hamara bhi he is always with me so the context of that shabd is very deep. you see the context is different man bilas pai sahab ke achar de gudai har simar simar anand karna na prab puran pai rakha so guru talking about that shabd is about his ras is enjoying it there is other shabd where guru saying mai man mero bas nahi nis bas bikhen ko taavat kai bidro ko taai so guru they saying mai to god as mother mere mai man is no mere bas vich nahi ha control it so the context of that shabd is so you got to read the shabd in the context as always share the key segment is really popular with mm. our viewers from the feedback we received so that was another great uh, segment I mean I don't produced. forget actually you can go back to YouTube and watch yeah. it again I think we share the key you need to sometimes you need to go back and just visit watch it again, again yeah. Oh, yeah there's so much information in there you've yeah. got to yeah absolutely it's really useful to have that resource yeah. isn't it on YouTube so yeah uh, this week's viewers videos is Ekampreet Gaur who's only six years old thank you very much for sending those videos in by the way to everybody that has been so far and she's if you're at home old, yeah. as well if you want to send your videos in your children your yeah. nephews your nieces your grandchildren please don't hesitate so it could be a, a kavita it could be a bit of shabad that they've done to keep them apart anything we don't mind yeah. please tell us what their names are though and how old they are yeah absolutely so here's a complete from leicester only six years old <laughs> ਪਤੰਬ ਕੋਤੀ ਸਿਮਰ ਕੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਲੈ ਤੇ ਆਏ ਫੇਰ ਅੰਕਤ ਕੁਰਤੇ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਰਾਮ ਦਾਸੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਈ ਅਰਜਨ ਹਰ ਕੋ ਬਿੰਦ ਨੋ ਸਿਮਰੋ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਆ ਰਾਏ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਆਖਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਆਏ ਜਿਸ ਟਿੱਠੇ ਸਭ ਤੁਕ ਚਾਏ ਦੇਖ ਭਾਦਰ ਸਿਮਰਿਆ ਕਰਨੋ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਆਵੇ ਤਾਏ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਈ ਤਸਾ ਪਰਚੈ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਈ ਤਸਾ ਪਰਚੈ ਜੋ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਸਿਰ ਗੁਰ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਪਾਤ ਦਾ ਦਾ ਤੇ ਆਂ ਤਾਂ ਕੇ ਕਸਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬੋਲੋ ਜੀ Okay just before we go I'd like to say another thank you to Falcons Primary School from Leicester who has sponsored this week's show thank you very much uh, to you guys and also keep please keep up the good work I know you guys are running a great school at the moment according to all the offset mm. uh, reports that have come in you guys are doing a great job and from also from the feedback from the songs that I've got so and also they're running a uh, they're going for an application for a secondary right, school yes, as well the right Falcons Academy look out for that support it however you can sign up for it let your friends and families know uh, the secondary school is, is a bit it's been gone in and any support will be really We need welcome. more secondary schools right yeah. Benji Hanna in this country here's an opportunity let's let's take it a sick secondary school fantastic idea I will love it Absolutely keep your donations coming in so we've got uh, information at the bottom of the scroll bar of the sort count and details how you can uh, support us please do. if you want to volunteer please support us like us share us follow us on Instagram and Facebook yeah. and on YouTube as well Don't forget the big release 12th of November Sikhi to the Max for the mobile <laughs> fantastic resource for you and your family and future generations please download it on the App Store and Google Play Store yeah. it's going to be a brilliant brilliant tool so look out for that So Sangeet before we go happy Bandi show once again to all our viewers and take care ji Wai Guruji ka Khalsa Wai Guruji ki Fateh Okay, and what's on tonight's Khalsa Club, Benji? So, I think Khalsa Club is is gaining a, a bit of a fanism. I think Shira Singh and Bidu fanism, fan. No <laughs> <laughs> such word. Oh, okay. It is fanism, isn't I'm, it? I've never heard of it. I thought he's going to win. Really? Yeah. Okay, I had Rubinda down as my favorite probably. She's done a she's done a great bake off. She's been really she's doing really well. Uh next we've got uh, parenting and this week they're talking about how they celebrate Bundy Shore. Uh good we've got a group Why Guru Ji Ka Khalsa? Why Guru Ji Ki Fateh? Welcome back Sangeet Ji. Joining us for the Share TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a blooper?